Okay, so we're just uh, getting ready to prep the uh, final part of the rock dust trial. I'm going to do some indoor basil, and I just want to show you what we're doing here. Uh, so I've got these uh, just these little food containers, and uh, you can kind of just see they're they're 16 ounce and 32 ounce round food containers, and uh, they nest together with each other. So they kind of sit here, and and uh, you can see you know the the 16 ounce one just barely goes down about halfway into the 32 ounce one, uh, but then the lid holds it up. So the idea is we're gonna make a little uh, kind of mini wicking uh, thing out of these containers. And uh, I just got a, a little spool of, of rope here. This is a natural fiber rope. Uh, and I just cut little wick lengths here. You can see them, uh, they're just soaking in water right now, just gets them wet and loose to work with. Uh, and anyway, then we take these uh, this, this little 16 ounce container poke a hole in the center of it and then just feed that wick right through the metal, through the uh, middle of the hole and I just I, I did I don't know if you can see these in the video or not but we did poke a few ventilation holes uh, along the side and bottom of this as well uh, so these are going to be the the little grow containers we're going to use for the uh, for the indoor basil trial uh, and I'm in the process of cycling up a, uh, an indoor aquaponics system uh, in our garage and so we're actually gonna gonna run a dual test here we're gonna test the rock dust and we're gonna test uh, using these little containers uh, actually sitting the wicks in the aquaponic water uh, just to see if there's a difference between um, you know the regular water and the aquaponic water and the growth of these things and let the wicks just pull the, the nutrients out of the aquaponic water so we'll see if that works uh, at any rate, I'm ready to run a uh, total of eight plants. Uh, we'll run just the, the basil uh, test again. And we're going to have uh, basically four control. And that'll be uh, the control plants uh, basically with rock, or with rock dust, without rock dust, two of each. And then we'll have four, um, uh, four other plants that will be with rock dust, without rock dust. And those four will sit in... Uh, the aquaponic water. So the, the the first four would just be regular water. You know, we'll just lift this up and pour water in the bottom of it up to about halfway. And then, you know, this when the plants are small, they you know you go like a week without having to water these things. Uh, as they get a little bigger, it's you know every other day or so. But um, for now, this should be interesting. So I'm going to get these uh, put together and the seeds and soil in, and then I'll I'll just show you a final video of uh, kind of how we got them set up in the aquaponic system. That's it. Okay, so here we are at the last uh, last stages of getting our um, rock dust field trial underway. So these four uh, are just basil plants uh, planted in the little containers that uh, we made up. And uh, we have two that are growing just in regular water, and then two that are, are I'm sorry, these are all using just regular tap water, uh, all four of these. And then uh, we have uh, two with rock dust, two without rock dust. And then uh, over here sitting in one of the trays of our aquaponics system, uh, so this is going to get a little uh, extra nutrients through the aquaponics system, uh, but still, I don't know if you can see this, they're just still kind of floating down um, in, you know, it's, it's working the same way, it's just wicking up from the bottom, um, but then these, same thing, we have two with rock dust, two without rock dust, four plants sitting in the aquaponics, four plants with just regular tap water. So it'll be interesting to see how all this plays out. Uh, you know, our aquaponic system is just kind of ramping up as our fish tank. Uh, we've got about seven weeks into this now. Uh, so we're just just starting to get some early growth in things. And you know, it takes like three months to get an aquaponic system fully ramped up, but this is our uh, gravel bed. We're starting to get some cilantro growing. And this is just early sacrificial plants to uh, you know, to kind of cycle the system up and get that whole nitrate cycle started. Um, and that's it. So excited to see how the rock dust trial goes and, uh, you know, see this integrated with an aquaponics system. Uh, we'll keep you posted and updated as it goes along.